So, just pulling up to my humble abode. We, uh, or I should say, I just got my drywall delivered. And I'll take you on a quick tour. So, you saw the nice big mature trees out front. Uh, built a temporary ramp here to help ease get everything in when I move in. And welcome. We have this entry edition, which was uh, previously here. We got our front closet and a little freezer room with uh, some potential for some shelves to help source store some stuff. Uh, we have our living room here, which is going to be about 13 feet wide and about 15 feet long, so fairly decent sized room. Uh, built this uh, mini bulkhead here as just kind of a visual divider between the living room and the kitchen. We're going to have uh, a very long countertop in the kitchen. It's going to run that six foot width there and probably close to about 14 feet this way. Uh, ending roughly where that, that plank is there. Uh, there I'm going to have a, a uh, breakfast bar kick out. So we got a, a dishwasher there, sink goes there. Uh, basically right in between the freezer and my little bar fridge there is where the, uh, the oven's going to go, the stove. And in this little alcove, uh, that's the fridge. That's where it's going to reside. And then the infamous long hallway. Um, but before that, we got a little tool crib right now, which will serve as my laundry facilities. Um, might even insulate that, we'll see. My furnace, the only thing that I did not touch. Uh, and then we get into the master bedroom. We have brand new plumbing, as you can see, run through the wall there. We have a, uh, a very large closet. It's uh, about six feet wide, two feet deep. And this entire master suite is actually about uh, 12 feet long, about 10 feet wide. Um, my brand new panel, which I ran all the electrical for. Quite nice, I like that. Uh, then we get into the master bath, which uh, is gonna be my pride and joy, I think. I think it kicks ass. Um, we got a nice jetted tub here with a wicked Roman faucet that I found. That was a display model. Don't know whether you're actually going to be able to see that water too clearly, but I like it. And then I decided to also do a rainfall shower head. So I'll be, that'll be nice. Um, we got a, uh, the vanity is going right there and then a toilet hidden off in the corner here um, and down the hallway a little bit further and we come into the second bathroom which again will have the vanity there uh, toilet will go right here roughly a uh, little shower stall and then here I'm gonna do a, a built-in cupboard for uh, linen and then my second bedroom, which will more than likely be a computer room slash workout room slash uh, basically whatever. And then when somebody comes by, we can throw up a, a bed. Um, again, decent sized closet because I don't have very much storage for myself. Um, and then a hidden hot water tank, which will be behind a false panel here. Um, so you can see all the plumbing ran off a manifold. So. Uh, shouldn't have any water shock or anything like that if somebody opens up a uh, faucet on me while I'm having a shower. And I'll take you for a tour of the backyard. Let's just make our way out there. So that is uh, Dad's trailer there. Uh, spent about a hundred bucks and got some wood and built some rails for it so it's a uh, been quite handy for me to get rid of some garbage. I have a very large yard for uh, a mobile home. Um, not sure what the exact size of it is, but uh, pretty decent size. Don't know what I'm going to do for landscaping 100% yet, but I got a pretty rough idea. Um, 
there used to be a couple outbuildings here that were semi-attached um, but got rid of those this this spring summer so it's probably gonna be a big deck I'm imagining uh, old greenhouse was there tore that down I uh, got a fire pit and a storage shed and my scrap wood pile which will more than likely be burnt at some point um, anyway that's uh, a rough look at my place and uh, I'll send uh, another video out once I'm uh, got some drywall up. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.